Summer is literally coming up and have I prepared for it? Absolutely not. So in this video, I will be completing my to-do list in order to prepare myself a little bit more for summer. Let's, do, let's get started. <laughs> The first thing I want to do is actually create a summer vision board. See in my last video, which was my bucket list ideas, I pretty much just printed out some pictures of the summer bucket list of, I guess, my summer bucket list that I want to do this summer. So I just printed out some pictures for that. I also do have this board, which I got from Primark years and years ago. And it just has photos of like me and my friends and like my family. It's really, really dusty. So I'm going to take all these photos off. Um, dust the board and then just pin my like summer vision board on instead. Baby, I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over. That is so disgusting. Okay. okay, so now it's all nice and clean. I really have like fairy lights being threaded through, but the fairy lights are very much like rusty and very just not in good shape. So I took them off as well. Now, let's cut out these photos and put them on. This might take me a while, so I am probably just going to watch some YouTube whilst doing it. It's time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet. That's my summer vision board all done. What I would do is actually make a smoothie bowl. Now, I've seen this literally everywhere on TikTok, on Instagram, on Pinterest. And I've just never made one or had one before. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to make one and let's just see how this goes. I've got this, which is a very smoothie mix from Morrison. Actually, my dad got it for me, so thanks, Dad. I really have to wash it, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. And on TikTok, I've seen you can either put like any liquids in, so water, milk, juices. I'm gonna try milk and see how it goes, but um, yeah, let's see. But that's something I don't regret. Honestly, it tastes so good. Your dreams, baby. What can I do when a million things are running through? Million things are. Okay, so next thing I need to do is actually clean my room. I'm actually really embarrassed to show you this, but it's just a true reflection of what's happening right now. This is what my room is looking like at the minute. The table is really dusty. It's really kind of messy over here. There's so much paper I need to file. Some of them I need to chuck away. Some of them I need to file in like those folders down there. I just need to clean like this area mainly. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually go through this massive wad of paper and just kind of separate them and organize them into a pile of what I need to check out and also yeah. just separate them into my different A-levels. This might take a while. It's my fault because I should have organised it and filed it like at the time, but I've obviously I let it piled up. So yeah, let's just get this over and done with. I'm just covering up my teacher's name, but um this is all my sociology stuff and like everything that needs to go into my sociology pile. That's just all my law stuff and all my days. There's so much. I thought I organized it, but I haven't. This is my business folder. I've organized each pile into each folder. However, I do feel like I need to get a new law folder. There's so much to do in law and my folder is literally so full and so heavy. I do need to get a new folder, I think, but we'll just do it bit by bit. Sleep talk, that's all I got What can I say with a million things I can't erase That was very much needed I do love a good pot of ramen I'm nowhere near done I've been doing this for the, for the past like 20 minutes now And I've finished my business folder I'm almost done with my sociology And then my law one, I just need to do but so much here. I didn't realise there's that much paper. I'll probably be here for another like 15 minutes, probably 20 minutes max. And I haven't even like finished cleaning my table yet, so this is taking a lot more longer than I thought. These flowers are very much dead, so I need to chuck these away. I did go into cup and buy small flowers. You've seen the tulips before were very much dead. Um, and I just wanted some new flowers for summer. So I'm just gonna uh, rearrange them and just put them in here. Much more better. Now finally onto the final table. 
which is this one here. It's really disgusting and it's really dirty. So I need to take everything off, clean the desk, and I put everything back on and put some stuff away, so. <laughs> is a lot more best now a lot less dusty and more decluttered than before that's pretty much my desks all nice and clean for the what summer I do is actually scrapbook so basically these sets of photos left that i needed to scrapbook and i haven't really got around to it so i'm going to scrapbook them now which means that next time i will do scrapbooking hopefully will just be full of summer photos and i think i'm also gonna be watching some youtube whilst doing it because i like taking my time with scrapbooking lay everything out piece everything together so Let's go ahead and do that. You feeling wrapped up in the warmth of Sunday memories. But I don't even, I don't even. Just finished scrapbooking the page. I basically, it's just this really nice purple cardigan, which I got from the charity shops. And I really liked it, so I took some photographs on it. I think this is also on my Instagram. I just printed them out and I scrapbooked them. So I just put like purple gems over them. I tried to go with like a purplish theme to match the cardigan. So I know this is kind of pink, but pink, purple, same type of thing. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this page. Next thing I want to do is actually reserve some books from the library. I just finished reading this book. It's Good Girl, Bad Blood by Holly Jackson. It's the second book in her Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. And I do want to reserve the last one, but I have seen like people on like the internet and on TikTok saying that it's a good book, but it's a lot more darker than the other two books. I'm kind of nervous and a little bit scared. I want to reserve it because I want to at least finish the whole series. I want to reserve that one. I also, I've seen all over TikTok, um, the movie that recently came out, The Summer I Turned Pretty by Jenny Han. I'm sure that's the author's name. I wrote to all the boys I loved before. It was like a massive hit on Netflix. I saw The Summer I Turned Pretty all over TikTok and I really, 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 really want to watch it. But I really am the type of person to like try and read a book before the movie. However, sometimes like new books or like popular books in high demand, sometimes my library won't like hold the books until a couple months after. So I don't know if that book will be available at my library, but I will have a look. Reserve the last book for this series. However, I did try to reserve the Summer Time Pretty, but unfortunately, it's not available at my library yet. So instead, I have decided to reserve a book called Book Lovers by Emily Henry. Family is quite good. It's like a summer romance, which I love myself a good romance book, so I'm very excited to read that. I am kind of like in queue for these books though, for As Good As Dead, in third position to get it. And then for book lovers, I'm in fifth position to get it. So it will take a while, which is why I kind of reserved it now so that by the time I finished college, I should be able to at least get one of those books in. I'm really excited to start reading this summer. The thing to finish off my preparation for summer is to force a bit more skincare. Because I don't know if you can tell, but my skin's not been looking great recently. And I think that's because of what I've been eating, but also I've just been quite lazy with my skincare and I haven't really been doing it that much so i'm going to kind of infuse that introduce it into my like little routine again um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do my skincare Hey everybody, so the last clip you saw was me putting on some eye masks and I completely forgot to film an outro, so this is what this is now. I do apologise, I'm pretty sure I just went to sleep straight after. I do feel a little bit more prepared for summer, which is the whole point of this video, which I'm very, very happy about. Um, but yeah, this is the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, subscribe and turn your post notifications. I post every Tuesday at 6pm GMT and I really appreciate it if you subscribe and I'll see you in next week's video. Bye!